Hey guys, welcome back. So when I wanted to do a blog, I also looked into Weebly, and uh, Weebly also lets you make a blog. Um, if you go to Weebly, um, you can also set up a free, free blog with a, a URL that will be your the name dot Weebly dot com. So um, they have a pretty good selection of themes. Um, I liked their themes. Um, some of the themes were not exactly blog style um not as flexible let's say not as suitable for a blog um so if we select the theme here um and then you can uh you can also edit your sites with uh just drag and drop different elements onto the website um so here you can make your own um, url here and then you have the different elements and you can put them on your website and edit the different elements. Um, one of the downsides of using Weebly is that when you do have a, a blog, um, you don't have easy access to each blog you post. You have to actually go to the blog page and uh, if you go here and you add, add a blog, done. So you actually have to go here and find your blogs and edit them. So there isn't a very easy way to see your stats for the blogs. Um, to find the blog you're looking for, you actually have to look through each page and find the blog. Um, you would also have to, Weebly does give you stats, but if you want um, more detailed stats, you would have to use uh, Google Analytics, um, which also just adds more things to use, um, which is um, one of the reasons I didn't go with Weebly is because of um, that it's not all in one place and it's a bit harder to just, it's not as simple. And so um, it's also, uh, if you want to actually have a domain without the Weebly.com at the end, you actually have to pay monthly for it, a certain amount every month. So those are my thoughts on Weebly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.